Well, I'm uh, done with the... I had to leave the hospital. I just can't spend my life at the hospital. I wanted to come home and have Mario go for a walk. Um, I take my car. I'm, I'm so sick I can't really walk. I'm too weak. But because I live on this very rural road where, you know, in fact, some people just went by and they waved to me. And, and Mario kind of does his thing. He, he kind of... But um, my MRI results are in. Before I left the hospital, uh, my nurse looked it up and she said, yeah, your results are in. So, um, you know what? Right now I'm going to go to God's Word before I go to the hospital and get the results uh, because I'm going to talk to my doctor and I want to see what the Lord has to say because you have to go to the Lord with everything. I trust that he's going to heal me. I trust that he has a plan even for my MRI results. So the Lord is bringing me to oh, this again. <laughs> see, he confirms. Do not grumble against one another, brothers. This was my text this morning. So that you may not be judged. Behold, the judging, the judge is standing at the door. As an example of suffering and patience, brother, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Behold, we consider those blessed who remain steadfast. You have heard of the steadfastness of Job, and you have seen the purpose of the Lord, how the Lord is compassionate and merciful. I, I, I'm telling you, friends, I just... Um, I just opened my Bible and I just asked the Holy Spirit to, to show me what I need, what, what spiritual fo food I need. And you know, um, I'm going to open it to Philippians. I don't know what it's going to say. I'm just going to open it to Philippians and Lord, just nourish me with your food as I go forward to get the results of this scan. And no matter what the results are, let it glorify you. Let it glorify your temple. Let it glorify your Holy Spirit. Let it glorify your kingdom. And, and this is what the Lord is bringing me. Brothers, join in imitating me and keep your eyes on those who walk according to the example you have in us. For many of whom I have often told you and now tell you, even with tears, walk as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction. Their God is their belly, and they glory in their shame with their mindset on earthly things. But our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly bodies to be like his glorious body by the power that enables him even to subject all things to himself. Therefore, my brothers whom I love and long for, my joy and crown stand firm, thus in the Lord, my beloved. That's where my faith and strength comes from. That's how he is nourishing me. And do you see what the Lord told me? Do you, did you pick up on that? Who will transform our lowly body to be like his glorious body? From it we await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, I cannot do this work, this walk, or this work without that. And that word is sharper than a two-edged sword. And it pierces my soul, and it pierces my body, and it pierces my blood, and it pierces my organs, and it pierces that bacteria. And it's going to pierce my liver. And when I go in for my scan, it's going to pierce those results. It will. Well, I'm here for the MRI results. So, here we go, my friends. Here we go. So, I had some, like maybe a half a cup of soup in my liver tea. So bad now. I've been feeling so much better, and then I try. I mean, I try. I just, ugh, oh. And then I noticed when I went to the bathroom that my shirt was inside out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my shirt was inside out. 
I'm surprised my skirt isn't inside out. You know, it's kind of a, a, a starry thing. It's a trend. I started a trend. I've done that before. I've come to work with, no lie, with my pants inside out, my sweater inside out. I do that a lot. You know, it's dark when I get dressed. I don't pay attention. It's 4.30 in the morning. Yeah, you hurry up and wait. When you become a patient, you definitely have um, a new understanding. But um, I was reading all the comments today again, and uh, so many people need prayers. So I want you to know that I'm praying for you too, all of you people who are hurting and are not feeling well. Uh, there was a lady that was getting anointed with oil. She had an endometrial cancer. So I was lifting her up in prayer. There's a lot of you suffering. We need to keep praying for each other. So I stopped at medical records so I could get all the things that have been going on with me. So we'll sit and we'll look at all of it. Now, when I went to ER that day, and, and uh, remember, I actually went to work. Um, I had nobody to cover me. My doctor had uh, texted me and said, you got to start in Cipro. You've got Yersinia. You need somebody to cover for you. And we had no clue what we were looking at, right? I mean, we knew it was Yersinia, but even my doctor was unaware of how insidiously toxic it was and how bad and how quickly it, it, it was going to affect me. But they did the CT scan because I ended up in ER that night. And this was the, um, the preliminary report that they sent out. It was done with a uh, contrast. And my lung basis um, showed, I do have a pectus um, excavatum. That means that your sternum is caved in. I've always had this. It says this compresses the heart, deviating it more into the left chest cavity. Lung bases are clear, no pleural fusion. Periportal edema is noted. That means engorgement of the liver. The IVC, which is the vena, um, inferior vena cava, that's the big large vein that goes from the heart to the liver, is enlarged. That's not good. Perhaps this relates to the right heart regurgitation. Never had that. Suddenly my right heart was regurgitating through other... So that was the virus doing this. Um, the liver. There is a hypodense lesion with peripheral puddling, puddling in the right hepatic lobe near the dome measuring approximately 1.3 centimeters and another associated with the lateral left hepatic lobe similar in appearance measuring 1.5 centimeters. Third lesion is seen near the porta uh, hep hepatis, again with peripheral puddling, measuring about two notice in the posterior right hepatic lobe. This is ill-defined. On this examination, do not see displacement of vessels. This was a brand new um, density that was on my liver. That was on my liver that, um, besides my liver being engorged, I had a dark density and that's where we figured the bacteria was settling in one of the places in my organs and causing um, necrosis. The posterior right hepatic lobe. So they wanted an MRI. Now the problem with the MRI is couldn't get it right. I had to really pray. You know this is how the Lord arranges circumstances. So. Um, here I am, then they admit me after seeing that. They didn't know what to do with me. And then, um, uh, then of course, I started getting the Cipro, and of course, the Lord started working in my life. Boldly, boldly, boldly. But there, there is proof right there of how. So that was um, not good news. But again, God is good. So as you see, as this whole circle is, is now coming back, um, then I get the scan, and the the other scan came back, you know, the other day, as we know, and praise the Lord. Um, everything everything looked normal. Everything looked normal. Every, I, I have to say it again. Every, you saw the report. You, you just read it with your own eyes. I was 
sick. And Dr. Menendez didn't even know what to do with me. He's like, we need an MRI. So five days later, I think it was five days later, they did the Cipro twice a day, but that's through prayer and supplication and all of your prayers and, and the healing powers of Jesus Christ reached through the heavens and um, gave me healing. And he opened windows, like he gave me the Chinese medicine man who opened that window. He just, the things that he did to give me relief and comfort and just sustain me through all of this. And now I have a long journey to go. My gallbladder, yes, it sounds like it went into the gallbladder. The Yersinia has attacked it and it hurts and I'm trying to get more nutrition in. But praise the Lord. I mean, praise the Lord for another beautiful day that I'm out here and I'm talking to you and I'm recording this. And Mario's out here and I'm with him and we're just, I mean, I want people to see the hope in, in all of this. Um, it's an incredible story. It's, it, 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 it's incredible for me what I've gone through. Like I, I, I just thought I was on the brink of death. And it was serious. And even, even Seattle said three weeks of IV Cipro twice a day. How did that happen? Five week, five days of Cipro isn't going to knock out this bacteria. They said, the expert said three weeks to knock it out. Explain that. Explain that. Well, yeah, we can explain it. Right up there. We look to the heavens. God is sovereign. Okay, I am going to, there's Mario. He's, hey Mario, say hi to everybody. So I'm just going to take a nap out here. We're at we're at a park, and um, I'm just I'm still you know not well enough to like go on a hike and all that stuff. And and the zipper has put me at risk for uh, uh, tendon issues, um, actually rup ruptured tendons. So I cannot do anything with my muscles. There's no restoring my muscles right now. Right now it's rest, 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 sleep, 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 recuperation, recuperation. Um, oh, and I brought forgot my Gatorade. Sipping, 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 and just rebuilding that temple rebuilding that temple. Friends, God bless you all. I'm glad you have stayed with me through this journey. And um, thank you for all your comments. And I, I don't know how to thank you. I do not know how to thank you. I just, um, I'm going to keep sharing, if you don't mind. I mean, you know, my off-grid channel has turned into just a whole testimony. God just... <laughs> 